all right welcome back welcome back to yet another episode of the talk of the sports podcast we're back from a little break um and you know what there's definitely more to be coming soon on that because there's you know another update with another break come in and we have to tell you guys about that but you know before that let's get introductions in it's been a while since we last heard from everybody how you guys doing good good can't complain so far same here here. okay okay uh all right so as you guys may know we have uh tournaments going on the uh copa america and the euros so um right now the euros is pretty much done with group stage knockout stages have been uh knockout stage ties have been um decided you know brackets decided everybody knows what journey um they have to take in order to make it to this year's final for the euros um on the copa america side of things we're still waiting on a little bit um there things is a bit different than uh the euros they go straight from group stage to quarterfinal um and they are still deciding uh those places out but once those places are out we'll discuss those but but that will probably be on next week's episode but back on that note back to what i mentioned at the beginning with some more um housekeeping we do have another break coming up but that won't be for the next let's see one two three three weeks three weeks we might actually have a break next week next week's fourth of july week and um to my knowledge i don't no 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 we won't have a break next week you know the the first round of um round of 16 matches would have taken place by next week so definitely you'll hear from us next wednesday but um it looks like the 17th from my calculation will be the last time you hear from us this summer as the 14th of July is the supposedly the final of the Euros. That's when that's scheduled. And then the final of the Copa America is actually scheduled for the same day, 14th of July. So um, after the 17th of July, which is that following Wednesday, we'll discuss um, those you know matches, whoever's in there, um, how they got there what that means for their legacy if anything <laughs> and then we'll be on another break until you know preseason begins and that is your summer of football well um, i'm not sure when the season starts okay august 16th august, yeah so yeah we'll be we will be there but back to current events so as I as I started off with this whole thing, we have the Euros. Um, we'll get to Copa America eventually, uh, because the things I have to say about Copa America really doesn't have to do much with the competition, just with the locale and what that means for the future. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, focusing on the Euros, uh, my first question to you guys is: you know, we've had the group stage, we've seen all the teams go out there and perform um or lack thereof <laughs> um, and my first question to you guys what was the best surprise of the tournament for you i wouldn't say anything really stood out as a surprise per se nothing yeah not 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 really i've just been watching them play no, and results at all none i mean i did say best i did say best. we'll get we'll get to the other side of we'll get to the opposite of best but i said best if he said he doesn't he didn't have any you know a best surprise game correctly nothing surprised you at all no i mean the games happen as they happen and i'm just like okay that that happened like like best surprise i haven't like as far as teams players okay maybe there were some surprise results I think the best surprise in my mind right now is just Southgate is not gonna be in charge much longer. That that I don't know. It's like that's like my 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 presence. 
Now, you this... know, I don't have any. I don't have any allegiances here. I'm just I'm just watching football and enjoying it. So it's I, the same. It's the same on this side. Same on this yeah. side. Yeah. Um, just I just have I just have favorite players um, on different teams. KVD, KDB in in Belgium and Foden in England, and you know things things aren't going. But as for me, best surprise is a tie. Um, strictly between Romania and uh, Austria. Ooh. Those two teams have been absolutely phenomenal to watch. Absolutely phenomenal to watch. Mm -hmm. Um. Specific, yo, specifically Romania. I w I wasn't expecting this at this kind of performance, not from that team, especially in that in the group that they were in. They were in a pretty tough group, um, by their standards. By their standards, relax now, relax now, Shags. No need, no need for the look, no need for the look, <laughs> no, need, no, need, no need for the look, no need for the look. <laughs> but in any case, in any case, um, I've been very pleasantly surprised by how well the, their players have fought out there on the pitch. Um, till the end, they've they've gotten results. Who's your favorite of your, your of the Romanian players for you? Uh, so far, I don't know. To be honest, bro, <laughs> I need to go look up before I start butchering. Before don't, I start don't, butchering don't put, names, don't put a gun to his head, man. No, 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 no. Before I start, before I start butchering names, let me go look up. Let me go look up the the. <laughs> Let me go look up. Let me go look up the team before I start butchering names here. Uh, can we can we see these? You know, lineups? it's like it's All like the guy that scored that the their first goal for for them, the crazy volley from outside the box. I think he was like their captain. Their I think he's like also their their oldest player. He man, he's like third in his mid thirties. Um, to be the honest, bro. Played, he he looks like he was twenty five, but that that was the only player that stood out to to me. I don't I don't, I don't even I don't know, know what his, his name is. That's what, that's what I was about to say. I was about to say I don't know these. I can't be too sure that the player I'm looking at is is actually. But all I will I will say this: as a team, they've been well. And if I want to point out one specific player, the one player that I do know and have been watching because I've been pleasantly surprised by how well he's been defending because they have been faced with some attacks, um, some pressure. Um, Dragosin. He's been. I, was in. Mm -hmm. I think he's been. We I think him. he's. We all I know. Think, you know, of course, but I think he's 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 one of the, he's one of the players that have that have risen his stock based on his performance at the zeros. Whereas oh. there have been plenty, plenty who have lowered. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Who's your Who's your best surprise? I don't think anybody's surprised. Georgia. I mean, okay. I told you they've been coming. Okay. Um, they beat Portugal, like I thought they could. Because just by how they've been playing, um, I, and they, even on the first day when they lost three one against Turkey, they could have easily won that game three two. I mean, it was back. If you watched the game, it was like back and forth, back and mm -hmm. forth all day long. And Georgia has been a part of some of the most exciting games in this tournament. Yep. yep. And Turkey got their goal off of what their keeper came up and hey, oh well, <laughs> you live with the results. But um, yeah, man, um, I. I I honestly can't say I didn't expect it because Georgia, like, um, they have a history of very skillful players. I could say um, Georgia Kinkladze, Manchester City, you know, very skillful player. Um, now, this Georgia team just seems like they have, like, four Georgia Kinkladze. <laughs> <It's laughs> I'm telling you, I don't understand it. I don't know where they came from, but they can all play ball. They 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 can all play ball and just the icing on the cake, their keeper was the best keeper in La Liga, so it's like yo. And then just to even make it more interesting, they have Kvitsa Koraskilia, and it's just like it's just like a match made. Like man, it's it's. I was seeing Georgia fans crying out there when they won after the final whistle blew. Teenage boys were like crying. Grown men were crying, like it, it. It was just a sight to watch, and like, man, never expected. I, I never expected it from them because I just tuned into the game Georgia versus Turkey. I was like, ah. but just the way that Georgia played the high pressure, um, Kovika and Mikutadze, bro, I was sold. <laughs>
Yeah. So definitely Georgia. The worst okay. surprise, okay. I must say it 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 kind of has to be like Netherlands. Like, geez, like really? Okay. <sighs> yeah, okay. like it, they finished third in their group. They they lost on the final day. Who did they lose to? Oh, Austria. Okay, Austria is actually really good. But still, though, like, I just expected a lot more. Just a lot more. I, I expected them to, to, like, establish themselves as, like, either top, at least top four favorites. Now, I don't even see them going past the second round, honestly. Yeah. Checks, how about you? I'd like to say props to Austria because um, if any of the teams in that uh, second round, like, and especially their coach Ragnick for you know back from the dead. Oh my god! Um, so I, I like to say props to them because I didn't expect them to be Netherlands either. But hey, we'll see how far they go. Like I'm, I, I, I'm thinking now that I'm trying to figure out who my underdog team is going forward. But I think. You know, when we get into depth, I'll probably pick one. So, we're, props we're to surprised. Austria and Ragnick. Yo, we're surprised. Worst? Uh, it's hard. Um, it's hard not to be a Chelsea fan, but it has to be Cole Palmer being on the bench and England. It, it's not surprising. I think him being on the bench is what's surprising. It, but it, it should is. I be surprised? Because of the coach. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, that that's pretty much it. I mean, all the te- all the goodish teams made it out their group. So I don't think there's any, like, shock out of the people that, that went home. So it's like, you know, there's still, we're getting to the, the real part of the tournament now. There are a few shocks of, like, people that made it, though. Like, if you bet uh, Georgia and Romania, or if you bet Romania winning their group, my God, it's... Wait, Romania won there. Romania made yes. Romania, Romania made a lot of people money, bro. The ones the ones smart enough to just throw, you know, small hundred dollars because the odds were crazy. Well, yeah, the group honestly, was honestly that we can we can blame down Lukaku. Hey, I'm not I'm, I'm just gonna blame down Lukaku. Like, look, look. Hey, that's like my they- worst surprise. <laughs> that's my worst surprise. No, 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 for 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 no, because I Thank you. Perfect segue. Let me just let me just have this soliloquy because I need to have this soliloquy because it is not only a soliloquy, it is also a public apology for being a Lukaku defender (laughs) to everyone, to everyone, to everyone in to all of our to all of our fans, to all of our watchers, to all of our listeners. If you've been with us since season one, this is the second season we're doing this. Um, if you've been with us in season one, you would know and you would have clerical evidence, <laughs> clerical evidence of me defending Lukaku. I went from at one point to saying the first time he was at Chelsea, they weren't using him correctly. He left, had to go and do some things, came back again. It was the same story. Second verse, they weren't using him correctly. You know, went to, you know, at, at Man U, you know, uh, he wasn't treated right. You know, then he went to, then he went to Inter, did his thing. You know, I've just been defending him, you know. Last World Cup, he was injured. He came out, tried his best. I mean, not World Cup. Uh, the the uh, Euros last year. You, e- Euros, you mean? Not not last Euros. I I meant World I meant the, I, not World Cup. I meant the uh the World Cup was just... UCL final. UCL final. Oh, okay. UCL oh. final. UCL final. UCL final. He was Literally... injured. Went out, tried his best. Oh, tried his best. But good God, Lukaku, your performance in this tournament. I you know Kevin De Bruyne is getting up there in age. He's on the backside of his career. And he's still playing like the best in the world. And he hasn't won any, and he hasn't won anything in the international stage. How people were feeling for Messi with that World Cup is how I feel for KDB in this Belgium squad. I agree. I've when picked- you saw the man laid off a pass, took out all oh. the defenders. Lukaku only had to just shove off one defender. Just shove off one defender and put a clean strike on the ball. He whiffed. <laughs> he whiffed. That's not the only one because I think I saw one. It's not. It's another not another one. It was it's, it's from the KDB. Threads it through like four defenders, like kind of half, like a half look pass, 
and this guy goes with his left foot and just straight at the goalkeeper and like bro, I didn't. It's, I wait, wait, wait! I didn't think I was gonna. Let me finish. I didn't think go, I was go, gonna go, say go, this. Go. I didn't think I was go gonna ahead. say this. But Romelu Lukaku, you are permanently on my fraud watch. <laughs> Whenever, whenever Let's we go. do fraud watch, however <laughs> many we decide we're going to do, whether it is a top three, top five, top eight, <laughs> top ten, if we're doing it on a sheet of paper on Microsoft Word in Google Drive, whatever document we decide to do this in, all I know is my sheet will come with three things printed on it. The pre title, <laughs> three things pre-printed on it. The title my name so just so you know who wrote this list and romelo lukaku in the number one position because oh, this is just ridiculous man. this yeah. is insane yeah. oh, you find it you find the last see. thing i will say last thing i will say get it off your chest get it off your chest. Iguain, i apologize thank you oh, thank you thank you i apologize yes, I, I, yeah yes because yes. i now know that there's somebody worse and his name is romelo <laughs> really i'm finished <laughs> I do agree with you on Higuain, but he wasn't Lukaku, man. Because he scored some, <laughs> some like I, I, I remember the World Cup final that they, they they lost to Germany. Um, he scored a pivotal goal against Belgium, the only goal in the game. So I'm like, yo, he showed up. At least I can say he showed up. Lukaku, <laughs> the only game I can say he showed up on was USA versus Belgium. When they brought him in overtime, <laughs> and he scored the game winner, obviously we weren't surprised. KDB, booed. <laughs> he was going to he was going to cheer the fans and thank them, and they said, "F uh, all that, we're booing you." Yeah, hmm. yeah. Kaku, it's your fault. You know, you pay for Bro, crazy. He, was, he turned around. He turned around. He turned around and and and, sh and shuffled everybody off. Shuffled the rest of the players off. Matter of fact, y'all discuss. Let me go pull this up for you guys. That's crazy. I um I, I was watching the game. I, I think the one chance that he missed, I think the one that Shex was talking about on his left foot, where like he, he missed it. Um, the reaction of KDB and his coach, and the coach told me everything, man. <laughs> like the coach's head went down in his lap. KDB was like, oh. Yeah, man. And there was just even this other chance I, at the beginning of the game, literally first three minutes, first three minutes where you're fresh, you have fresh legs, everybody's fresh, you should be ready. Easy pass. Like the, the defender came slumped up to like pushed up against them. So Tilleman gave a nice, easy pass like through. All you got to do is just slide out the defender, just run through and it's an easy goal. But he didn't, he, 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 I don't know where his mind was. And then he's telling to the mind, I want the ball to my feet. Like what the shot, sh make, make the run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, dude. It's so crazy because whenever, whenever any Lukaku misses a chance, you already know his reaction is like, yeah. And he's all sweaty too. So shirt soaked with sweat just give from, him one from before, like. You, like before the game starts, he's already there sweating. Like it's, it's just, I'm just like, bro. If I could just give him one slap, <laughs> man. I hope his agent. I need to look Lukaku's agent. Wherever you are, you better not be sleeping more than six hours a day. He's doing a great job. He's working his. He's working hard. He, you he, he, better he, because I do not. Chelsea preseason starts. I do not want to see him. I don't want to. Nothing. I don't want him, his essence, anywhere near my club anymore. Please, please find him another club ASAP and permanently because I don't want to have to do this again next time. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I totally ag 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 agree. He just should not be in, like, any side that is seriously confirmed for the floor. It should not be their number one, two, three, or even four. Like, like a young player can do that. What he just yeah. did? No, 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 just... no. He can't be. He can't be up there by himself. He need. If you're gonna do something, he needs to be. He he only can play in a four four two. He can yeah. only play in a four four two. I was just about if to say, playing, say something. If you're not playing four four two, Lukaku, you can't have Lukaku as a as a number nine. It's it's I mean, simple. 
It's I'll so go four two three yeah. five two. He need he needs a he it's needs like a assistance. Like, like like with Lautaro Martinez, the mm. reason why it worked out so well is because you can play Lautaro by himself up there. So Lukaku doesn't like he 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 can take different positions. He can create from deeper like he was doing when he was in Inter Milan with Conte. But it's because be, the players that they had around him and the team was literally set up around him. But like, what did they win? Scudetto. Okay, Napoli wants Scudetto. <laughs> cool. <laughs> but well, yeah. In any case, we'll leave that there. A disappointment is a disappointment. Yeah. However, they have he does have a chance to redeem himself um, against France. Um, I'm not too sure about. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about you know the prospects for Belgium in that match. But then they again, need France has a start, sorry, man. They need France has a start. Start. It's, yeah. it's, it's, Belgium actually has a good chance because France. France hasn't been all that good either. Yeah, they but we're looking at the rest of the bracket. Looking at the rest of the bracket here. Um, as you can see, one side is clearly weighted more than the other side. And who do we have in that you know weaker side? Well, lo and behold, we have England. Um. <laughs> So here's how we're going to play this out. What we're going to do here, we're going to go through, uh, we're going to pick, you know, the round of 16 match we're, we're most excited to see. And we're going to pick uh, who is our bet to make the final. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So here, here, I'll go first. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really not going to lie to you. <laughs> don't lie you're in front of the people you're in front of the world I want to say I'm excited for France and Belgium but at the same time I really don't want to see my guy uh, KDB get killed with that being said sorry but, but, but before you go on I mean another guy we didn't like we just carelessly left out his name Jeremy Doku played his mind out of these three games <laughs> I, I won't say all that I won't say all that because what has plagued him um, at City has plagued him here. His final, his decision making and finish, playmaking, finishing. Ah, I don't even know if I said that right. His decision making and you know finishing in the final third leaves much to be desired, um, and that comes from you know finishing you know if he has a shot on or finishing a play. And they so, weren't putting him in like the same positions. So. You're right. You're right. So he, yeah, so he was having to work a lot harder to get into. Different from like much deeper. He had no, more... you're right. You're right. So he had to work a lot harder to get into the similar <laughs> positions. And, you know, he got there still. Yeah. He got there still. You're right. You're right. But still, at the end of the day, he wasn't, you know, making the passes. And you, the clearest example I can give is when he came off for, I believe it was Openda. Um, Openda came on, barely had touches of the ball and fizzed the final ball that, you know, Doku spent in his entire handball. time playing trying to do. Now, you're right. It was a handball. <laughs> but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at least it was a finish and the ball ended up in the back of the net. That's something that he was trying to do his entire time playing. He wasn't able to do. So, you know, both sides of the coin. Well, more on that, that handball, like, I really think they need to change the offside law. I really think it should be on the, it should be based on the foot. Fingers, Fingers, parts of well, your no. hand should not count against you being offside. It, it really should be like based on your foot. Well, no, that wasn't the call. The call was the call was in the law is if you know if it touches any part of the hand. Uh, oh, that's deems, why they over. over yeah, oh, it's, 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 it's a hand. straight handball. It was. I a mean, it was. Uh, it, yeah. it, it was straight, as in it was obvious that it clipped yeah. somebody. It wasn't intentional. Yeah. But no, the, wrong, no, the rule of the law is if it touches it, the hand it and it leads it. to a goal. It it it's it, 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 it has to, was yeah. it in the box? Was he the? Wasn't the one that it doesn't scored? Matter. It was it, it was off. Matter. It was it off the long ball. ball. It was he off the long ball. Got the assist that let he 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 directly mm -hmm. led to a goal. Was it was it uh, like a on purpose type? Was it in an, an unnatural position? It His wasn't, hand was it wasn't high. intentional. His hand was high, but it wasn't intentional. I mean, okay, hold on. It was like up here. It was like here. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of is a unnatural position, I guess. But hey, but, let's go okay. for Lukaku, so I'm not complaining. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was, his hand was up here because he was trying to turn his body to run past the defender. That's literally. I got, you, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got so, you. I got it you. was like. I got you. I got you. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, he's trying yeah, to look, 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 look. Body. He he's literally trying to turn his body. <laughs> but yeah, he was trying to turn to beat his defender. It was that should not have been disallowed, man. Yeah, but it, that, that it, just it, seems cruel and unnecessary. <clears throat> it, it's, it's just like <laughs> yeah, but it couldn't have wor- happened tough. to a worse Lukaku, so it, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Three outside goals is crazy, but or ruled out. All right, listen, like, yeah. listen, listen, listen. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'll go first. Um, oh, I already, I already said the one that I think, but I really don't want to see KDB get hold, down. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Imagine hold another hold tangent. Here we go. Um, I think we need to shout out Croatia and Luka Modric. Luka Modric's last, <laughs> last. I'm going home. Last, he's, oh, he's, he's they're, they're, they're already in Cancun. Wait, right? All right, so yeah, yeah, they're already in Cancun. But the way they went out, and it's just Luca. Like I need he him to retire. He won a Champions retire. League. He's not crying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, he's he's wiping it. He's wiping. I don't his think. Tears I don't think Italy. Totally. Well, yeah. yeah. He was right. wiping his tears with the champ. He's yeah. dabbing his tears with the medal, the if winners' medal. He's dabbing his tears. Harsh. It's like, bro, Croatia. Y'all won it. Y'all can't make round of sixteen. Go home. Y'all already, yeah, you're wanting to go to Can- Cancun. You already had your flights booked before this tournament. So why are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, they, their flights were not booked like that, though. Like, it, it was a last-minute winner from Italy to send. But all right, all right. Nobody Listen, cares about Croatia. They're this home. The first... Wait, they are home. Did you see their f- opener? Oh, 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 okay. Just watching their opener, they had those flights booked. It was just because... <laughs> <laughs> So they had to act like they oh, Spain, 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 Spain. Them, yeah, listen, up. them and Ukraine. Them and Ukraine. We knew what they were. We knew what kind of I energy knew. they were on oh, from, from day one. Ukraine. We knew what we knew yeah. what energy they were on from day one. What's Anyways, the- let's discuss the teams that are here. The one, the game that I'm looking for, round of sixteen, is Austria Turkey. I think there's going to be fireworks in that match, bro. I I wouldn't be surprised if that match ends up five four. Mm. I I wouldn't be surprised if that match is the highest scoring. Highest scoring uh, uh, fixture, round of 16 fixture, unless, you know, Spain or Portugal run up the score. More like 4 0 Austria. <laughs> like... Nah. What? Man, Tur- Turkey been, Turkey been Turkey's balling. been balling, bro. Oh, Turkey's a good thing. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Two games ago, how did it look against Portugal? <laughs> Well, I mean, no, that's Portugal though. They they got cooked. Whoa. And on top of that, wait, 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 and on top of that, own goal. And facts. I was about to I was about to bring that up. I was about to bring that up. And before that own goal, it was go it was it was a heavyweight fight. They were going back and back. Oh no. Okay. Hey, okay. I, I, I mean, oh. they they finished they finished above Georgia. No, but what I'm Talk saying, is, Shags. Georgia, Talk beat, Shags. Georgia beat Portugal. So I'm just like, how tough is Portugal? Yeah, but but Portugal rested all their stars for that game, and they still finished top of the group because they were already top of the group. You know, like considerably better team. Hey, hey I mean, they Portugal should have beaten Georgia, like based on the balance of the play. But hey, they didn't. So I don't know. Turkey, Turkey is actually pretty good. They, like they've been entertaining. I think they won three one. Like uh, when they came, they won three one against Georgia because. Told you the last minute goal when Georgia brought their keeper up. Turkey was not it did not look like Turkey was going to win that game. Okay. Trust me, I watched that game. They right. are not that good. They are not as good as their results say. And in this game, oh, you want to talk about the game that you just won? Ask the ref. <laughs> what, what did he do? <laughs> uh, sorry, disallowed Czech Republic goal, red card that was bogus. What? Oh yeah, yeah. They, he got an early red, and then he got another red, and then the fight broke out at the end. But this a lot didn't make sense. Look, like he's... Czech Republic were robbed. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh. So Turkey, I, hey, they still playing well though. I think it was right, a good listen, game. Who, I think this what, this what is match? the type of game where it's like uh, they have beef. <laughs> The two countries have like real beef because you know those people love their football. No competition with Austria. Yeah. I'm telling you, Austria is considerably better. Yeah, so, okay, well, 
They might pay. That. They might pay this ref in in that game too. So. Wait, that's the only. <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> Will y'all stop chatting ish and just tell me what match you're looking forward to? Um. Yeah. No real heavyweights here. Belgium that's don't crazy. count. That's insane. That I have to agree. Yeah, but you know. I, I expect France to pack them up and send them to Cancun. Um, what am I looking Kaku, forward Kaku, to? Please make my day and score a hat trick against France. <clears throat> Look, you okay? Then you have to take him off. Are you taking him off the fraud watch? Because that's no. Never he'll still gonna... be on. No, he's still be on fraud watch. I don't care. <laughs> it's not, it's score, not no, gonna... no, 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 no. You can score a hat trick. Listen, 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 listen. A dead clock is right twice a day. That man is dead. <laughs> if if he chooses on that day to be right. That doesn't erase. That doesn't erase all the times you've been wrong. I'm just saying. Marcus, I think you stole you stole my 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 sleeper pick with Austria and Turkey. Um, um they're not a sleeper. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm sleeping. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. I'm telling you, that's probably going to be turn out to be the most exciting match. See, but I'm right now. I got my AC on 67. That's crazy. You know. Um. While I am, I'm not particularly excited for any one game. I think the most upset, um, the the game that could have an upset in it, and I'm looking very forward to the upset if it happens, is England and Slovakia. Oh my god! You were gonna say that. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, okay. Yeah. Gonna say that. So. Um, yes. I, I why are you think... saying? Why are you saying? Why are you focusing on England like Denmark hasn't been playing well? They've not been playing well. Peter Smichael okay. said he's worried. If you uh, listen to Peter Smichael, he's, he's, I know, bro. I was just but... grasping. I was just grasping at straws. I was just grasp, just well, grasping. Then straws. Denmark are, are about to be in. Uh, what, what's another nice spot? Um, no, no. What, 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 Tahiti. What's... I, I believe, think I believe it. Right I believe in Krabiscalia. I believe. I believe in Krabiscalia. They will knock out Spain. Copenhagen. They're about to go back to Copenhagen. Man, Copenhagen. <laughs> You have to go to Copenhagen first, and then they book Listen, their ticket to the. All I know is, okay. all I know is, if what Shank says is true, and England get upset, mm. Mm. I mm. might have to fly to England to riot mm-hmm. with the fans. As, <laughs> I'm not even an England fan. Just, just, just on account of Phil Foden will have to go through nonsense because of this, being yeah. attached to this. Yeah, I'm there with the picket fans on for for Southgate. Nah, 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 nah Foden is light skin. Don't worry, the paper's not gonna put him as. as he's, uh, he's, he's he's safe. <laughs> he is he's our. That's the same too. I still have to might have to fly. Still have to fly. <laughs> That's the same too. All right, all right, but yeah, like uh, England might go down. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Like I like once again, I don't really have a team like I'm rooting for. I think Georgia is kind of become my underdog team at this point, but they got Spain and, you know, Austria and Turkey. That's it. Got that. I, I think I'll, I'm, I'm rooting for the underdogs this this, this competition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's it for me. Because England not doing right by playing my boy. Mom? Um, yeah, I got the Swiss and the Italians. Um, I think that's going to be a fiery game. That's 1-0. Because Italy, they're itching. They, they they can't buy a striker right now. I mean, Shegs, you could probably be a good candidate for him. You're I would tall. start for him. He probably. If, if you're tall and you can shoot any kind of way, they will take you. Because that's what they look like. They, they look uh, like. I don't know. I'm a little too dark skinned for Italy, but hey, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, no, no. You said it right. the exact same thing I was thinking. Like, Bro, let me tell you Moise something. Moise Keen plays for Juventus. This is literally like the. Like, don't, think, don't bring up that name. Moise Keen yeah. has been passed around like a stripper. That man has not had a stable. That man has not had a stable home since he was in the youth academy. The, the, the point I'm trying to make is for the first time in like, I don't know, something like 30 years. The last game that they played, that it took them like a 
they had to do a 90 minute equalizer. <clears throat> they hit for the first time in like 30 years, they did not start a player from Juventus. And now it's oh. like, yeah, Chiesa was on the bench. Well, so that was like, whoa. And how did they play? <laughs> did they say, did you oh. say 90 years? No, 30 years, not 30, okay, years. 30 years. Okay. Yeah. Not 90 years. Yeah, I was like, I was like, Listen, I only like have year or something like that. And um, I only have, I only have one thing to say on that, on that match. That match, I'm not even sure the XG from both teams will com- combined will equal to one. I was actually about to go that way, but doesn't a certain <laughs> Granite Zaka play for Switzerland? You know, he's always good for a banger. Not, that's fine. He could score. He could score. He could score. He could score a banger, and his team could still have could finish the game with a point three eight xg. <laughs> so actually, so. you're right. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, um, I don't know. I think even even if it finish it finishes one zero, it's gonna be a back and forth game. That's what I'm trying to make because it it, it doesn't have to like have. Oh, five or six goals to be a no you're right yeah you're it, right it, it, that game is going to be a back and forth game because switzerland they're very good but italy they're they're desperate they're 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 desperate to give anything to their fans because their fans <laughs> they know <laughs> once they land in italy <laughs> it's gonna be hell man so this game yeah <laughs> Okay. I mean, right. I mean, for yeah. Italy are defending champs, so I think it's time for them to go home. Like you, you're not gonna win it again. That's the point, though. That's 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 the yeah. point. Fans expect them to at least make it there. Well, to at yeah. least make it to the semifinals. Anything going out Look, of the first round to Switzerland, the smallest country in Europe? No, 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 no. With how bad they've been. I think they're. I think they're happy they got out the group. Well, they barely made it this far by a last minute goal. So I would agree with yeah. you, but they're out. They're here now. So well, how do you think they're thinking? Time will tell. Time will tell. <laughs> uh, last question, and we're moving off on this finals prediction. Like the two was, teams that are in the yeah, final. Yeah, the two teams. Yeah, two teams in the final. It has to be one from each bracket. Um, and uh, and uh, be quick. Be quick. Be quick. It's too early for for me. You it, said too it, early. All right, that's fine. I'll say we'll take that. Give me, we'll that. Give me yeah. I, we'll I, take I, that. I, I need to watch at least one round. Okay, I'll... we'll take that. We'll take that. <clears throat> Shakes, are you comfy or you you would like to wait too? I will say at least one of those teams is going to be Germany. You said it's going to be Germany. At least yeah, at least one, at least one of Probably those teams is going to be Germany. Uh, I disagree with that, but we'll see. They're fraudulent. I actually, I actually don't. I think wait. Germany. They're fraudulent. Is going to show wait. up. Yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. Wait. I just remember who who starts for them. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, that's fine. If you want to change your mind, me. I'm, if you want to change your mind, if you want to change your mind, me. I'm going Germany. I think okay. we're gonna see. I think we're gonna see what should have been the final in Germany and Spain in um the quarterfinal, and then Germany is gonna be a hard fought affair. Germany is gonna take that through. And then they'll end up seeing, I, yo, that's the thing. This other side of the bracket, I don't know. I don't know. It could really could be anybody. It really could be anybody. It because really could England, be anybody. It's all Southgate's fault. Yeah. Like, looking at this bracket, you think, oh, England have a chance here. Like, Heck it's, it's, no. like it's an open path. But now, no. now it's like seeing, seeing how they're playing, it's like, no. no. Even, even if they were, England was matched up against any other team in that bracket, like every team fought tooth and nail to get there, man. <laughs> I have a very strong and feeling. England, and England stumbled there. Like Slovenia, they weren't trying to score a goal. They I have a very strong feeling. So yeah, bro. It, so it, here's yeah. here's here's what I'm gonna go with. I have a mine is gonna be Germany from the top side of the bracket. From the mm-hmm. bottom side of the bracket, I have a very strong feeling. It's gonna be Germany versus the winner of Austria Turkey. It's gonna be Austria, bro. Come on, just say Germany, Austria. Stop, stop beating around. I don't know what this Turkey bro, like. I okay. literally posted okay. a meme of Turkey getting basted for a reason. If you watch that okay. Portugal game, okay, my goodness, okay. Once they conceded that goal, <laughs> did you say Turkey will make the final? The yes, winner of yes. that game. 
I said the winner of that winner Austria. that game make the final. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yep. 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 Is this guy? Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. Bro, out of, uh, well, all I'm saying is out of, like I, I think I think Netherlands easily makes at least the semis, like easily. Okay, that's they're, they're, they're gonna make it there. And I'm asking you, yeah. I'm asking you for the finals. Yeah, yeah. Not, I, I easy, not easily, not easily, but I, I I'm think asking you for the. That you said semifinal. I'm asking you for the semi. final. I, I, Until set. Okay, let me let me uh, just quick simulation. No no, 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 no. Did you say you will wait? Because I I heard clearly from Zach he was waiting. Yeah. yeah. Are are we doing the other side of the bracket? Like which game like we're most excited for from the other side? No, I said from the whole thing. I thought you made your decision. No, this was no, this was gonna make the final from both sides. No, no, no. From the no, no. He's talking about from the first part of the discussion. The first half of the discussion uh, that we yeah. had was from. I thought we were just the doing whole... each no. half of the bracket. Okay. No, we were uh-huh. doing the whole thing. All right. <laughs> so if if we're doing the whole thing, then then I would I, I would have said um Spain, Georgia. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Spain and Georgia in yeah. the final. No, no, the no, no, most no. exciting matchup. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah. He, he went back real quick. Yeah. But Shakes, if you Sorry. don't have an answer, you don't have to. You don't have to answer now. We'll wait. Next episode. Next episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you next round. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let me stop sharing this and then share. Oh, I can't share anything on the Copa America. We'll just discuss the Copa America. All right. Copa America game wise, it's 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 been decent football. It's what you can expect from this side of the from this side of the nation. Uh, from this side of the world, rather, <laughs> um, they are. What I do like is they're being a lot more inclusive. Because my biggest thing was the U.S. never had any opportunity to to be in a competition like this and actually face, you know, serious competition like this. So it's good that you know we have they have we have the opportunity to face the Argentinas, the Brazils of the world, and all that stuff. The We've Colombias. Been in Copa America before, right? Yeah, We've been it in it. We've been in it for like twenty. Five years since they started inviting us, so we just haven't been. See, Alexi literally <laughs> name on Copa I America. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the furthest they went was like semifinals, semifinals, they and then they it, lost the third place. Yeah, to... team. Oh, I didn't watch the last one, so yeah. now what I will say, what I will say is this: um, this is the first time it's it's being hosted here across yeah. and i say here but it's really yeah. it's similar to the it's similar to what the world cup is going to be um across the us canada yep. Mexico. Yep, mexico um and again i said it's been decent football my qualms about the about the tournament has nothing to do with the football it has everything to do with the pitch and the conditions yes um <laughs> if we are going to have a world cup here then we need to have World Cup quality yeah. stuff. Yeah, gotta be good. Because they, they, they've been having bad pitches, it, bro. They just, they, I, I bro, they took, that. they, it you, they took, good. they <laughs> took. Not only do don't don't they look that good, all the players are complaining about it. You should you should do some Google searches real quick. Um, not only that, you can actually see it. What they've what majority of these places done have done is they use turf because they're football stadiums, American yeah. football stadiums. What they did was they just put the natural grass on top. Now, they didn't remove the, the turf. So the That's field just... is even harder. It's it's even when you fall. <laughs> Not even that. It's just the ball doesn't bounce as you would expect. It's it's Things aren't even. And it's just like... That's a lot of pressure on your knees when you're because you're not on, <laughs> on even ground when you're when you're doing all the pressure that running up and down a football pitch, making tackles, um, and things. It's gonna be weird. It. It's, it's definitely gonna be weird. The World Cup here. It's 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 gonna be different because that's that's what they do in those football stadiums. They use turf. Even the football players complain about it. They've been complaining for, about it for ages. So that's. Yeah, I don't know what they can do about that, but if they can, because they could do something like um, like I think they do similar things in like like Barcelona or something like that, where they like actually like they bring out a whole new like a camp new where they bring out a whole new different like levels of pitch, you know, 
but the, you would literally have to build that into your stadium floors. Like in, in Cam New, I'm pretty sure they can like bring, they bring out like different levels of pitch. They have different levels of pitch ready to go. So if, if like one gets rained out, they can just bring up a whole new one that's dried out. Like this, yeah, they don't have this technology here. They just don't. So I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Well, all I have to say is, I, what I, I will say this, it's a good thing that the Copa America is happening because, as I said, the football um, has, been, has been decent. Now, I hope they use it use this as a trial and they're seeing this and they're like, yo, if we're going to have the World Cup, some things definitely need to be fixed. And another thing, uh, you can't really tell too much from the TV, but I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like the the fans here. Cuz I was watching I watched the Argentina match and even the Argentina fans here, the fans that were in the stadium, I just didn't feel I just didn't get the vibe from the TV. I don't know. Really? Yeah, I just didn't get the I just didn't get the vibe. And then when you hear it's it's funny cuz when you go in here um when you go in here certain people talk about it like you know me, I always listen to ESPN FC and um, Alejandro Moreno was, is the person I was listening to specifically talk about this. He was like, he actually went to a match and they were, people were only cheering when Messi was only cheering. When they, Messi was only cheering. Mm. And I'm like, there were, at, there, on the TV, when I said I didn't catch the vibes, because I felt like there were some dead moments. Like, and I'm just like, by dead, I say dead stand by compared to what I'm used to. We watch really football. Well, we watch Euros, Euros. No, Euros, my goodness. Those fans. The World oh Cup. God. It's different. No, it, no, you're absolutely right. It's definitely different. It, it's a different vibe. Like it's when the commentator when the commentator isn't speaking, Bro, you, hear, you, the, can't you hear, anything. hear the fans. You can't yeah. hear anything. You yeah. hear the fans. I agree. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. I was watching this game and I was just like, the vibe is different and I knew what it was. Mm-hmm. I could hear a lot more than I than I hear when I'm watching other games. And I'm just like, nah, something has to be off. Mm-hmm. And then when I'm hearing, you know, think from Ali Moreno, uh, from Clint Dempsey, they're saying about the dichotomy of the fans, how, you know, a lot of the MLS supporters is really just some messy supporters and things of that nature. You kind of, it kind of makes sense. They they really only cheer for like, oh, he does a nice skill move. Oh, ah, we'll cheer. Oh, he does a nice through ball. Ah, we'll cheer. Okay. It, it's not like, okay. We win possession back. Okay, now everybody's going crazy. Attack. You know what I'm saying? Like, how Premier League, like, when your team has the ball, the fans, they're chanting, they, they have a cry that they all do, all that. Nah. No, you're, you're absolutely right. They, they, but for some reason, the fans do when they're in World Cup. <laughs> or in Copa America. But it's, it's probably different fans, so... No, it's 100 percent different fans. It's the yeah. guys that are here because that, you know, yeah. tickets are expensive. The cheapest ticket, the cheapest ticket, is is who is crazy. coming from Bolivia to watch USA uh, their Bolivian team play against USA? In the Cowboys. Not even just, like, not even just on. Bolivia. Can the people can 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 if it's not for the Mexicans Mexican fans that are that are here within the U.S. <laughs> Thank or you. Directly or directly Nobody close. Nobody from Mexico is coming to watch. Or directly me. or directly close. <laughs> To the border, unless you're, you're or, or there are parts, Garcia, and he's there not. are parts. <laughs> the flight ticket combined with the ticket to to you know actually mm-hmm. watch the game, especially in some of the stadiums. Like this, it happened in MetLife. Some of these games are happening in MetLife Stadium, and you know how much like, how expensive MetLife is just during the regular football season. You can only imagine the numbers they're pulling off this thing. So I I can imagine a lot of fans were true fans were priced out, um, and it's a shame, but. If you're if they're going to be priced out, then the aura and everything has to be there, and there's definitely room for improvement. I which I hope they um, correct by the time the World Cup's around. I know we aren't discussing much about football and about the Copa America this time around, but I don't know. I have to get this off my but chest. We'll definitely discuss football. They shouldn't a bit more. be. I, 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 I think I think it's definitely the the ticket prices and the lack of like um, interest among American fans because. Yeah, they're not nobody really like even us. Like I'm not really. Eh, will I go to a Copa America? I I check. There's nothing near like even like near Indiana. So I'm like, I even if USA makes a final, is this something I would 
go out of my way to, and it's super expensive anyway. Stupid so expensive. That combined with like the size of our stadiums, that that's and like they said they got us like um what's his name that plays for um Canada that plays for Bayern. They, um, no, Davies. Ben, ben Davies. 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 Alfonso. Alfonso. Alfonso Davies. Yeah, Davies was saying um, it's a 70,000 stadium and only 25,000 people show up and the pitch is bad. And it's like, all right, well, yeah, I, I, I hope like you that they look at it and they fix it because even like empty seats, there were yeah. you know, empty seats. Because even like I look, I'm like, it's going to afford it for they Mexico. Like their fans are not going to Inglewood to the SoFi Stadium to watch their team play. Why not make it easier for them and give them no I think that's a bad example. Texas? I think and, this is a bad example. I think this is a bad example. Texas is closer, but a large a large population they in do have California that. is Mexican. Mm. A large part of the population in California is Mexican. So SoFi Stadium would I don't know if SoFi specifically is a good spot. But California yeah. is a good California spot. It's a good spot. We've been to so far. It's a real, actually. Oh, it's a great stadium. But are they going to pack it out with the prices there, with the prices the tickets are? So I don't know. Or Cali maybe just drum up would, more interest for it. it. It would literally have to be like Mexicans that live in California. That's what. Yeah. And I and mean, we know they can afford it. <laughs> they live in California, so they can afford it. Uh, so, <laughs> and, 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 and for the and, and, and for the listeners and watchers, we're not just focusing on Mexicans just because it's just you know they are the closest ones here. Um, I mean, I guess we could discuss Canadians as well, but the hockey mm -hmm. season is is in the middle of it. I'm not too sure they're focused on football. Hockey's point. over now. No, oh yeah, no. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley Cup just ended. Stanley like, Cup just ended. Yeah. two days ago. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, now I guess they have time to focus on football. Hmm. But uh. Yeah, we're just they were just the closest ones. I mean, I don't even I don't even know if any of the South American countries anybody from Colombia you think is making the trip? No, no nobody oh. is, is I don't I don't think anybody is really making even the people that can, why would you? You know just just a ticket and hotel fees alone. Yeah. Ticket and yeah. hotel fees alone. You know, I I don't know. Our our infrastructure is not really set up for soccer matches, but I hope they figure it out. I hope they figure it out, you know, like you said, maybe if there's a huge community there, maybe that's where you should put the game because World Cup is different. World Cup, I know it's going to be full. Don't people say those are going to be packed. People literally buy the World Cup tickets four years in advance and work and plan their lives just to be in that city for the World Cup. World yeah. Cup is different. World, World, Cup, World Cup is very fun. It runs people's lives. That's different. <laughs> also, Copa America doesn't even. We don't even really have a lot of teams. Like, uh, I guess shout out to them to them to add in USA, Canada, and when they did. But that's also like a survival tactic because y'all do not have a lot of teams here. Y'all only have sixteen sixteen team tournaments. So, yeah. oh, and shout out to Costa Rica. Like, or, well, my God, a Brazil game! Wow. <laughs> I'm just yeah. wondering if they could they open it up even did more. Nothing offensively all game long. Uh -huh. And they could have stolen that game <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. against Brazil. So shout out Costa Rica. But sorry. Go on. Could they could they could they open it up? Who else is even available on this side of the world? For them to even include into the Copa Island America? boys. Aren't they already there? I, I was gonna say Haiti, but they probably still won't call us. <laughs> no, we had the no, no, no. You don't understand. You don't understand. We already had the opportunity to qualify. We just did it. We just wait, didn't. wait. You know what? For some reason, in my head, you didn't play football, so it kind of just flew up my head. But yeah, continue. And kids, we already and so just like so expand it. Is what you're no, saying? I, no, I think no, I think these, I think the Caribbean teams are already included. They just didn't qualify. They didn't, didn't qualify. qualify. Yes, they just didn't qualify. So I'm pretty you sure know, U.S. I'm pretty sure U.S. played Trinidad and Tobago just so, yeah, as part yeah, of you yeah, know. They, yeah. they, they did, but I mean, I, I don't think that even helps the competition because do we want to see those teams? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it would it even be profitable to let them in? <laughs> Well, 
Nah, at this point they just need to combine. They just need to combine. Yes. They need to, they need to combine Maybe Copa America and Euros. Like Leon thing. Bailey will buy in. Because They're not Leon... combining Copa America and Euros. That's that's what they call the World Cup. Like, nah, this is this is just Americas. The all You're the right. Americas. You're right. You're yeah, right. I mean, they, they either they either add more teams, but even then, I'm like, no, who, who, which teams? I, I don't mean com com. Well, I don't know what Marcus meant, but I don't mean like combine Copa America and Europe. I meant the island boys need to get together and form one team. That's what they need. <laughs> well, they need to form a super team just to get just to qualify for the tournament. Nah, Jamaica's pretty strong on their own, though. So Haiti, Saint Kitts, Virgin Islands, Bahamas, Dominican Republic, throwing Cuba. Y'all need to get get. You know what? You know what? Bahamas. Bahamas actually qualified for basketball, so yeah. But I, this is. I, I was gonna say those teams are probably better, at like beach football or something. Like, no, but they... imagine how good they were. But they would be if they just banded together. Just saying. All right, with that, no, with that we've come. Anything. We've come to the end of yet another episode. We'll end it there with uh, Zach's crazy ideal. We'll see if it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Brothers, <laughs> brothers. We'll see if it it's holds any water. We'll see if it holds any water. <laughs> as always, guys, if you've been with us for this long, we always appreciate you. Um, as I said, we'll catch you guys next week. And then after, you know, these two tournaments are over, we'll have another short break and then we'll be back at you once the season starts. Um, you know, as always, like, comment, subscribe, leave us a rating, a comment, anything. Um, share it with your friends, your family. All that good stuff. And as always, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you. Peace.